Greetings, everyone. This is Steam Team WK, CC Trainer Ling, here to bring you another retro review from past seasons of The Loud House. In this video, we'll look at a season 2 episode that deals with the wonders and struggles of reading. Today's episode is titled Read Aloud. First, we'll discuss the plot, and then my thoughts and critiques with my final score. So, let's get right into it. The episode begins with Lincoln telling the family there's a reading contest at the library where the winners receive an entire night at Spunky Pigeon's Pizza Palooza Paradise. Getting those weird Chuck E. Cheese vibes looking at those things. The family grabs as many books as they can and they all plan to read them, all except Lola. Her family tries to get her to read one of their books, but she refuses all of them, even the ones Lincoln thinks she would be interested in, until she decides to take one just to get everyone off her back. On the day of the contest deadline, everyone passes a short quiz on their books, all except Lola, and the entire family is out of the contest until everyone reads at least one book. Lincoln keeps Lola at the library, insisting she read the book he gave her in the next two hours, but Lola rejects the idea, and she and her brother begin fighting. Lola ends up admitting she didn't want to read because it's hard for her. Lincoln offers to help Lola read her book, and even though they missed the deadline for the contest, Lola manages to finish reading the entire book. In the end, the once illiterate loud child makes pizza for her entire family from cookbooks, and everyone enjoys the happy ending. Except Lisa trying to evade her overdue library fines of $50,000! Well, that concludes the plot of the episode, so now we come to my thoughts and critiques. This is arguably one of the best episodes of Season 2, and speaking as someone who had trouble reading at a young age, I saw a little bit of myself in the star of this episode when it came to overcoming this problem. Lola always appeared to be a Little Miss Perfect pageant queen, the word perfect being used very loosely, when it came to how she presented herself, but underneath all the glamour was a child who was struggling with an inability to read words and text. While it's not confirmed if she truly had dyslexia, this episode, in my opinion, did a good job of demonstrating how young children can have difficulties reading and trying to find whatever excuse they can to avoid confronting this problem. Lincoln proved to be the best kind of brother Lola could ever ask for, and going so far as to sacrifice the pizza contest just to help his little sister learn to read is one of the most heartwarming moments I had ever seen up to that point in the series. The way Lola's face lit up when Lincoln offered to help and the way she thanked him after finishing the book was indescribably remarkable. It proved two things. One, Lola has a kind of flaw you would never expect from someone like her, making her very relatable and realistic as a character. And two, Lincoln is a better sibling and parent than the rest of the family. So now we come to my critiques. It should go without saying the rest of the Loud family is the biggest negative of the episode. You can make all the excuses you want, but there's no defending their collective behavior and attitude toward a member of their own family when it came to something as minor as a pizza contest. The fact Lola's own mother was willing to allow Lucy to chain Lola to the attic and pretend she never existed by having Lana take on a split personality all for the sake of free pizza is just downright despicable. It really showed where everyone's priorities were. They neither bothered to understand why Lola didn't want to read, nor did anyone else offer to stay at the library to get to the root of the problem. They even got mad at Lincoln for costing them the contest. Sure, you can say Lincoln promised to get Lola to read the book by the deadline, and yeah, Lola does confess that her unwillingness to read contributed to them losing, but those two kids didn't do anything wrong. Lola had a problem, Lincoln was the only one to step up, and everyone else, including the parents, just thought about themselves. However, there may be a reason as to why they didn't put too much thought into why Lola was so resistant to reading, but it's sort of skewed. In two previous episodes, Ties That Bind and No Laughing Matter, there were instances where Lola was not only reading words, but also saying she was reading Luann's diary. Probably. The latter episode was produced and aired before Read Aloud, so unless episodes take place at various points throughout the series, which would make the most sense, we just have to assume Read Aloud takes place before No Laughing Matter in terms of the Loud House timeline. But then there's Ties That Bind. Well, the only justification to Lola being able to read the words 
world's best dad, where even Lincoln is acting surprised Lola can understand text, would be that she managed to memorize certain words and phrases from having others read to her as a way of covering up her dyslexic problem. She even had a photographic memory of a tea party book in this episode. So that could explain why most of the family never got to the bottom of why Lola wasn't willing to read. They thought she just didn't want to, but I'm still not letting them off the hook. For a family that can read 260 books in a short amount of time, but can't understand why one of their youngest children can't read just one, and their baby Lily can, there's something very wrong here. Overall, this episode was really good in tackling the common problems that come with reading in young children. You can put up a fight and push it off as long as you can, but eventually someone is going to figure out something's not right, and without being able to read, you're heading for much bigger problems in the future. Aside from criticizing most of the louds, I commend Lincoln for being the only member of the family to help Lola improve her reading skills. And while she's not in my top five of favorite characters, Lola was the standout and most realistic character of the entire episode. Like I mentioned earlier, she always comes off as someone who doesn't appear to have anything fundamentally wrong with her, but we find out there's more to her than meets the eye, and with the pairing of her and her older brother, you can't help but fall in love with this episode. With that said, I give Read Aloud an 8.5 out of 10. Well folks, that concludes my review of Read Aloud. If you've ever had problems reading as a kid like I did, or if you're still trying to overcome any sort of dyslexia you may have at the moment, this episode can give you a little confidence boost with its relatable storyline and characters, and you just may find Lola to be your favorite loud sibling as a result. You just never know. So what did you guys think of it? Love it? Hate it? Something you would add? change? Keep it as it is? Let me know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe to this channel for the latest Loud House content. That's going to do it for me. I'll catch you guys for the next video, but until then, this is Steam Team Read UK, CC Trainer Ling, signing off. Peace out, home slices.